This tutorial will show how to use the UCSC Genome Browser to find a list of genes in a given genomic region. To navigate to the Genome Browser, go to genome.ucsc.edu. This page shows the main page for the Genome Browser and one of the two links in the upper left hand corner will take you directly to the gateway page where one can choose the organism. We will click here to reset which puts us all on the default page so we can start at the same location which is the human HG19 genome assembly. By hitting the submit button we go into the default page which shows the region around the SOD1 gene with a number of data tracks turned on. The Hide All button below the browser graphic gives us an opportunity to turn off all the tracks and clean up the image. We will now turn on the UCSC Genes Track to Pack Visibility, which turns on all of the genes in this particular region, which is just the SOD1 gene at the moment. Now to put a larger region onto the Genome Browser, one can type in gene coordinates using the same format as you can see here, chromosome, colon, start coordinate, hyphen, end coordinate. Or one can type in a number of other identifiers such as 4P16.3 chromosome band. The go button will take us to that location. You can see that there are multiple genes in the window and multiple isoforms for many of these genes. To turn off the extra isoforms, go to the configuration page for the UCSC genes track by clicking the little button on the left hand side. The splice variance box can be unchecked and then the submit button takes us back to the browser with only one isoform for each gene selected. To get a list of all the genes in this particular region, we will use the table browser by going to the tools menu then selecting the table browser. The UCSC genes track is the default location for the genome browser and we will accept the known gene table. The position box can be selected here to limit our search to just the coordinates for the chromosome band that we identified on the previous page. The browser remembers where you were in your previous browser window. For the output format, to get the gene names, we must select from multiple tables. So we will use selected fields from primary and related tables and then choose the Get Output button. On this page, we have the opportunity to choose Chromosome, Transcription Start, and Transcription End. And then from the KG cross-reference table, we will choose Gene Symbol, which is the HGNC symbol, and a brief description of the gene. Get Output will give us a screen that shows us the gene names and the gene coordinates and their brief description. You can see that we have multiple genes with the same name, so we're picking up each of the isoforms that were shown on the original screen. Going back to the table browser now, we can use a different table as the primary table if we are interested in getting only a single isoform for each gene. That table is the known canonical table. By typing the character K, it takes me down into the Ks, and then the known canonical table can be selected from this list. Once again, we will use selected fields from primary and related tables, and the get output gives us a similar view where the known canonical table is the primary table. We will choose Chrome, Chrome Start, Chrome End, and then once again from the cross-reference table, gene symbol and description. The Get Output button now gives us a page that has one isoform for each gene. 